Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector here. Today's video is another I'm shipping this out video. I guess that's what I could call it. I gotta have a name for my different types of videos. I need to make a lot of different types of videos, but uh, I need to get names for all the series. I guess this would be a I'm shipping this out video because it's another video of 24 cars, 24 cars that were ordered by one of my uh, regular customers who orders a couple times a year, usually 20 cars at a time. And I tell you what, if you know anybody that's got like a thousand red lines for sale, I could sure use them right about now because they're selling like crazy, selling like hotcakes, hotcakes at a farmer breakfast. Or a, actually what I like to go to, I like to go to a cowboy breakfast. That's where they have like big, big griddles super hot and they're making pancakes and eggs and bacon and sausage and coffee and orange juice and all that so good I love that when we go camping during the summer I bring out my griddle I got a portable griddle with a gas and I do that kind of stuff I got the two flippers so I can flip 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 keep my skills up that's right when I was in high school I flipped burgers I gotta flip those burgers worked at the triple X drive-in in Sandy Oregon Small town of Sandy, Oregon, under a thousand people when I lived there. Now it's like twenty-five thousand. Where did all those people come from? I don't, you know, I don't know anybody who's having like big family. Like, it's so funny because like my wife's got nine brothers and sisters, and and most of the people she knows has big families, but you don't see that anymore. So why is everything getting so crowded? Nobody's having big families. It wasn't crowded when people were having big families. <laughs> if you can explain that to me let me know I know how that works all right ah uh, yeah just got to watch player one movie last night player one ready that uh, video game movie man you got to watch it if you haven't seen it yet it was fantastic really fantastic the whole thing was front to back start to finish great anyway all right let's get started on today's video uh, what I'm shipping out right now and enjoy these beautiful red lines thank you <laughs> All right, everybody, here we are at the photo studio taking a look at some of the cars that were just ordered in a 24 car order. How about a couple of 57 T-Birds? Real nice. These two were a very good deal. They have just a little bit, tiniest bit of residue on there, but typically I always adjust my prices for any minor deficiencies. This one has black painted headlights as well. This one's got a nice shiny base. Look at that. Ooh, nice. This one has a residue on the side. Always got to look out for that stuff. Look like the taillights might be painted in on that one. Maybe both. But very nice cars anyway for the price. Very low. And the next car up, Custom AMX. This one in lime yellow. Lime yellow Custom AMX. Neat color. Hard to find. Matching hood. Look at that little bit of a... This actually looks like a little factory deal here on the uh, roof. It's got a little bit of a texturing right in there. You can almost see it. Possibly not, but it is a nice custom AMX. Pretty nice. Next car up, dark green Lotus Turbine. You know the Lotus Turbine is, I like, I like, I like all Indy cars really. And they're just neat. They're neat. But you do have to have a lot of them to really enjoy them. I would say get six of each one. Get six of each one and put them all in a display and you will like them as much as I do. Chrome Boss Haas. Chrome Boss Haas. This one's got a few extra decals on it. It's kind of neat. It's got the number eight on the side, which is an original uh, rondelle, they call those. Rondelle. I thought they were called eyeballs, but most people refer to them as rondelles. Next one up, Cement Mixer. This one in light green. I love the light green color. And look at that. Now, one thing about the Cement Mixer is you can get this piece in brown. And of course, this is generally orange, but there's a couple of shades of orange as well. And there's some yellow, I believe. I think there's some yellow variations in there too, but this can be orange or brown. This can be orange or yellow. Pretty sure that's how that all works. And hey, how about a couple of Fire Chief Cruisers? You can get a couple of different shades. Look at that. Dark red, light red. There they are. There's the difference. Pretty cool, isn't it? Dark red, light red. Pretty neat. These are real nice. Look at that shine. These are nice cars. I try only to buy the nicest cars I can find. Haven't been able to get anything lately, though. I'm getting a little worried, a little bit worried. Here's a heavy Chevy. Very nice. Heavy Chevy. Red with a white interior. Super popular color combination for the heavy Chevy. 
this one in what I call excellent plus condition, which means it actually looks very nice. It just has some wear on it, but there's the color is nice. The stripes are nice. The, the white interior, of course, is outstanding, outstanding. And another spoiler, the Light My Firebird in green. Light My Firebird in green. This one with the brown interior. Green with brown. Just got one little nick right there. And other than that, it's a beautiful car. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, looks like I'm running out of space. Let's take these away and start with a second batch. All right, next one's up. The Nitty Gritty Kitty. This time, uh, two red ones. One with white interior, one with dark interior. Now, one of the things about collecting the cars that have the option of the white interior or the dark interior, and this is the way I look at it, if you collect, if you get them with the brown interior, you mostly notice the body. If you get them with the white interior, you mostly notice the interior. So it's a little more body focus versus interior focus because the interior kind of stands out. And with the dark interior, the body stands out. And there's two examples. Now, this one is sort of a satin red. This one, like a double deep red, like a double coating of paint. And that, you'll see that on all the spoilers. Some of them will have more paint than others, depending on the day, depending on the mood and the line at the factory. At the factory. Where is the next tray? All right, dragging over the next tray with a seasider. This one in light green. Light green, but of course it does look dark because it's completely toned to a dark darkened a look although look at this super bright base you never know you might get toning on the top but not on the bottom and the motor is nice as well so that is a pretty one i do see one little little flaw there the interior tab from this side is not all the way up on that side doesn't really cause any effect on the seasider so it's not really a big deal and then of course you got the red boat that goes on the back sometimes you have a white boat some boats are red, some boats are white, depending on what you like. You can mix and match. Here's a rose seasider. This one, a real beauty, a real beautiful rose seasider. Look at that shiny base, beautiful top, nice bright motor, so pretty. I think I need to uh, find the other boat for that. So there it is with the red boat. You might want a white boat or red boat. A white boat would look more like that. I guess you could just turn the boat upside down too. Look at that. You could, you could have a white boat like that, a white boat like that, or red. Hmm, very interesting. I never even thought about that. You could just flip that up. Very neat. And the next one up, another light green. Swinging wing. Light green, swinging wing. Look how pretty that is. I just got that one the other day and it has, look at that, perfect wheels. It was in a local store. They had some hot wheels that just came in. I grabbed that one and a couple of others. Look at that. Rose. Custom AMX. Now, one of the purposes of the video, when I make a video of cars that are leaving, is so that I always have a reference back to what I set out, and so that you can see what you missed. All of these cars were available to you all last week, but then they sold. Look at this. Salmon Harry Holler. Salmon Harry Holler. That's right. Watch this video, and you'll see some of the cars that you could have bought last week. So, next time you see something you like, give me a call, and we'll get it coming out to you. Aqua Six Shooter. Aqua Six Shooter. Look at that. I will be adding... Whoops. That is not good. I guess I don't have enough space. I have to go sideways. That's right. I will be adding some 68s from Hong Kong next week, probably. And also, blister packs. Got some blister packs to list. All right. Next car up, Sugar Caddy. Sugar Caddy. One of my favorite cars, big old Cadillac, big old glass window. This one's a real tough one to collect because there's so many things that can go wrong with a sugar caddy. They have real bad paint on them. This one has like a speckling appearance here on the back where these teeny, teeny, tiny dots of paint fall off or I think they fell off and they just, and they fell off and blew away. Anyway, this one is literally a blister pack pole, never been used, never been really anywhere, but yet look at that. Has just a little the bit of factory paint error, but look how beautiful it is. Otherwise, number three, I don't even know why am I selling this car it's so beautiful. Num number three, got a real bargain on that. All of these cars were a real bargain. Things have been selling so fast lately. Oh my goodness, looks like I need to take a put a wheel on there. <laughs> I must have borrowed that wheel for another car, but that's not a big problem because the the um, funny money, funny money is 
snap on snap off wheel but good thing I saw that you don't want to send that out with no wheel on it that would be scary look at that I'll just put that over there stick a wheel on there probably put it on another car that I was taking a video of a picture look at this 72 model the 72 Mercedes C111 had about five guys wanting this one but this person got it and it's a beauty look at that with the gull wing doors isn't that cool that is so cool going doors yeah that's sweet that is neat you know they actually did make a car that looked like that i've got a cut i've got a magazine article on that particular car along with those models they're also going out a couple of 73s 73s now they had the 73s they sold at the store and they have the 73s that they gave away at the shell gas stations and they came in these plastic baggies look at this one this one's rocket by baby in light blue Rocket by Baby in light blue shell promos. I bought a huge collection of shell promos a few years back. Had multiples of every one. It's really neat. They're so popular. Very, very popular. Look at that. Never been punched. Of course, these were just given away. Like, hey, you bought eight gallons of gas. Here's your free Hot Wheels car. Wouldn't that be cool? They don't give you nothing anymore. Back in the day, they check your oil, check your air, wash your window, and give you a free Hot Wheels car. How cool is that? That is so, so very cool. Here's a splitting image. Splitting image. Splitting image. I always say splitting image. It's a splitting image. It's not a splitting image. It's a splitting image. Splitting. Look at that. In the lime green fluorescent. This one in perfect shape. Very, very nice. Got a couple more in this slot. The yellow, yellow on the swinging wing, swinging wing. Wait a minute, let's see, is there a G in that? Swinging wing, swinging. It's not swinging wing, it's a swinging wing and a splitting image. Split image and a swinging wing. And the last car up in this lot, oh, it's throw it down, Dave, come on now. Red custom, no, it's not AMX2. It's not a custom AMX, it's not an AMX2. It's an exploder, exploder, look at that. You know, and these vent things actually, you can go like, whoa, God, yeah, I'm sorry, folks. That is crazy. All right, you, you on some of the cars, you can actually pull this vent open. I know the custom AMX, let's try one of these. Custom AMX, let's see if we can do it. No, no, I have seen them where they actually did flex open. Hmm. Maybe not that one. Let's try this one. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to screw around with it, but these things kind of, you know, bent out. I swear, I've seen them do that before, but these aren't going to do it. So that's all for the lot. And the last one was the Exploder. Very, very nice cars. Going out to one of my customers, you can buy any cars you see on my website, toycarcollector.com, of course. And you will be happy with it, I guarantee it. So thanks for watching, and you folks have a great day. Bye now.